Rosa Marie Camacho, more commonly known as Rosita, was born on the 7th of June 1993 to parents Julio J. Camacho and Rosa Delgado. The couple first got together when Delgado was 16 years old in 1992, with Camacho still being married at this time to his second wife. Julio was a police officer with the Hartford Police Department and had been for four years by this point. His second wife was also a police officer. Julio first met teenager Delgado after patrolling the street she lived on, driving up and down the street on countless occasions, watching her sitting on the front steps of her home. Whilst he was in a relationship with Rosa Delgado, Julio was seeing yet another woman he had met whilst on police patrol, fathering children with both of them. Following Rosita's birth, her 17-year-old mother applied for state benefits, and as a result, the state sought out Julio for child support. The state ordered Julio to pay approximately $200 per week towards his daughter's keep. However, aside from Rosita, Julio was paying child support for three other children from previous relationships, and he was raising his second wife's children. According to several of Julio's ex-partners, he failed to show any interest in providing for his children. As a result of such heavy financial pressures, having been ordered to pay child support for numerous children, Julio asked the court to cancel his child support for Rosita in November 1997 until a DNA test confirmed his paternity. However, by this time, both his daughter and ex-girlfriend were nowhere to be seen. At four years old in 1997, Rosita lived with her mother, Rosa, in Hartford, Connecticut, at an address belonging to Delgado's sister. By this time, Rosa and Julio Camacho had split. On the 24th of October, at around 5pm, Rosita and her mother left their Parkville residence in Hartford to walk to a local JJ grocery store on Madison Avenue, Frog Hollow, to purchase some groceries and baby supplies for Rosita's five-month-old sister, Alicia, taking only about $10 with them. Rosita's aunt was at home at the time looking after baby Alicia. Julio was seen by a witness speaking to his daughter and ex-girlfriend on the street corner of Carpenter Avenue in their neighbourhood before heading back in the direction of their residence. However, this was the very last time that the mother and daughter were seen alive. Rather shockingly, police didn't look into the mother and daughter's disappearances until almost a month had gone by, despite Delgado's family pleading with police to look into the very out-of-character vanishings. Rather interestingly, whilst Rosa and Rosita were living with her sister, Julio visited and called his daughter regularly. However, after October of 1997, he never contacted the family again, not even to ask of their whereabouts. This struck Rosa Delgado's family as extremely odd. Just one month after Delgado and Rosita vanished, in November of 1997, the body of a female was found floating in Columbia Lake in western New Jersey by two duck hunters, 180 miles away from Hartford, Connecticut. The woman, who was nicknamed the Lady of the Lake, was decapitated and both of her hands were missing. Authorities struggled to identify Jane Doe until DNA testing in 1999 concluded that the woman was 21-year-old Rosa Delgado. Authorities did search the Columbia Lake in an effort to locate four-year-old Rosita Camacho, but unfortunately no trace of her was found. 
Delgado's family were understandably angered and upset regarding how the Hartford Police Department conducted themselves in the investigation, especially the lack of urgency they displayed in regards to the missing four-year-old girl, with her mother having been murdered. The Delgados accused the police of mishandling the investigation and accused them of trying to cover up Julio's previous misconduct. It emerged that Julio had been charged in 1989 with third-degree assault of his first wife and he was terminated from his post with the police department as a result. However, he was reinstated after the assault charge was ultimately dismissed. In the mid to late 1990s, several police officers serving in the Hartford Police Department, including Julio Camacho, were accused by a number of women of committing sex crimes against them whilst on duty. Two women came forward and claimed that Julio had handcuffed, abducted and sexually assaulted them, but he didn't admit to these crimes until 2001. He pleaded guilty and, in doing so, the other charges were dropped. Julio served eight of his ten-year prison sentence and had supervised release for three years following his release from prison. Delgado's ex-boyfriend, Julio, was considered to be the prime suspect in her murder and four-year-old Rosita's disappearance, but during questioning, he denied being involved, although he allegedly had scratch marks all over his body. He was initially cooperative with authorities, but it didn't take long for him to stop cooperating. Julio's car was searched by authorities and they discovered a number of things which were suspicious. The trunk's lining was missing and its bottom had been sanded down. Also found was a map of New Jersey where Rosa's body was found a month later in Columbia Lake. Authorities also searched Julio's residence and discovered a handmade hatchet, a wire garrote and two sawed-off shotguns. Allegedly, they also rather chillingly found an extensive collection of books regarding serial killers and even one book about committing the perfect murder. One of these books also mentioned how decapitation and amputation were efficient ways of concealing a corpse as removing such parts from a body meant no fingerprints and no dentals could be used to help identify the victim. Investigators found no trace of any blood in his home, however the items in question were suspiciously clean. It is alleged that Julio also asked his brother for a false alibi following the mother and daughter disappearances, but despite the evidence that was mounting up against him, Julio was never arrested or charged in connection to his ex-girlfriend's murder or the disappearance of his young daughter nor was anyone else, for that matter. In the early 2000s, English and Spanish billboards were put up across Hartford regarding Rosita's disappearance, citing a $100,000 reward for any information leading to Rosita's whereabouts, but unfortunately, nothing of significance came from it, and no trace of the girl has ever been found. In January 2016, the FBI conducted an excavation dig at an address in Cromwell, Connecticut, a previous address of Julio Camacho, who at this point was serving yet another prison sentence for failing to pay child support. The dig was conducted in an effort to recover Rosa Delgado's head and hands, and in an effort to find four-year-old Rosita's remains, but despite searching the site extensively over a number of days, nothing was found. The case still remains open, however authorities haven't had any substantial leads in recent years. The search for Rosita has seemingly hit a dead end, but her remaining family haven't given up hope that Rosita is out there, alive somewhere, and that one day she will be found. At the time of her disappearance in 1997, Rosa Rosita Camacho was four years old, standing at approximately three feet tall and weighed around 38 pounds. 
She is described as being of Hispanic origins with brown hair and brown eyes. Rosita could speak Spanish at the time she vanished and may speak English. On the day in question, Rosita was wearing a black jacket and a pair of blue trousers. If Rosita Camacho is still alive, she would be almost 27 years old. The murder of Rosa Delgado and the vanishing of her daughter Rosita leaves many questions unanswered, with their family continuing to fight for justice, but it is hoped that one day a clue may be found or a tip called in to move the case forward. As of April 2020, the case remains unsolved. Thank you.